Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 26 April 2024. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly editor Terence Creamer asks whether South Africa can turn around 30 years of real economy underperformance. Creamer Media's editor reflects on the factors that have shaped South Africa's real economy sectors of manufacturing, mining and agriculture over the past 30 years and considers ways to end the economy's persistent underperformance. The engineering news features focus on gas, where compressed natural gas is set to benefit a South African business. Sewage and effluent, where a task team is established to enhance service delivery. And metal fabrication, where a fabricator offers a one-stop solution. The Mining Weekly features focus on new mining technologies, where there is a testing backlog as global interest in a new flotation technology grows and Mandela Mining Precinct and MEMSA Profile, where there's a focus on programs driving technology development. This week's business leader is Henry Adams, the country manager at software supplier Intersystems. And as this week's cartoon shows, years of state capture, corruption and ongoing crime and violence have left deep scars and have taken most of the gloss off any celebrations marking 30 years of democracy. Nevertheless, South Africa is still a significantly better place than it was before 1994 and has made some strides towards implementing the rights that underpin the constitution that emerged after the political transition. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Creamer Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.